Ik zie dat het een Viking klet aan zit. Dus mag ik u vragen even allemaal, allemaal stuk voor stuk, stuk voor stuk even de handen even uit elkaar te doen. Nee, nog niet klappen, nog niet klappen. Allemaal de handen weer. Deze gentleman, please put out your hands. Put out your hands. Hello there and welcome to the Netherlands where it's the CEV European Championship Finals. It's the gold medal game and it is the perfect evening here in Zuda Park where we have 3,000 fans. It's a packed house and it's about to go off. We have Norway versus Latvia for gold. The Latvians have made five out of the last six European Championship Finals. This is a first for the Norwegian team. Christian Sorum and Anders Moll in your picture. They beat the legends just like they did in Stad last week. Herrera and Gavira, 2-0. Easy pickings earlier on to qualify for this final after becoming the first for the youngest team in history to win an FIVB World Tour event. Can they do the same in the European Championship? Samoylovs and Smedings, they were so good against Semenov and Leshikov. They ran the ball around, they made it so difficult for the big Russian blocker, but this will be a different test. The Latvians, well, they have one gold and three silvers in European Championships together. That's not a good record in the final. They will be looking to better that today with a second gold. Norway are looking to win their first European Championship from, well, since 1997. At that time, when Norway won that European Championship, Andy Mole, serving in your picture, was just six months old, still in nappies. Christian Sorum was only a year older. Legends of the game. Vegard Hoydalen and Jura Kemperudden, 1997. It's been a long time coming. But is it Norway's day here? The Hague, beautiful, 23 degrees, not much wind. When there is wind, it blows from the left to the right to your screen. It's a breeze, and when the ball gets out of the arena, yes, it gets affected by the wind, but when it's lower, it's absolutely fine. Samoylovs and Smed as well. In head-to-head -head battles against the Norwegians, they've come out second best every time. They need to change that here. It's a tough, tough matchup. As we meet the referees for this one. There's going to be a lot of pressure on them as well, that's for sure. Martin Gessel on the sand. It's his job to watch the net. And anything that goes on underneath it. Time to meet the players for one of the biggest games in their career. They won in start. The Swatch Major Series last week. They're a threat. The blocker is going to be introduced first. It's Anders Moll from Sand in Rogaland. 21 years young, but already in the same class as Alisson. Already in the same class as Phil Dauhauser. His blocking and his setting, exceptional. 21, but playing like he's been playing the game for years. Christian Sorum, 22 years old. The left-sided defender. From Oslo, but resides in Lillestrøm, 6-4, and plays so nicely on that left side. Works the ball away from his body, hits angles all day long. 53 tournaments, 50 time the winner. Will it be now? Janis Smedins! First out from Latvia, it's Janis Smedins, the left-handed, right-sided player, one of the fastest arms in the game. It's liquid. 
Smedins, his partner of a very, very long time now. Nickname the Lion King. Alexander the Lion King. 33 years old. They're experienced, the Latvians, but they are up against a team with absolutely no fear here. A team that have been on a roll since conquering Alisson and Bruno in Charmen in the World Tour four-star event earlier on this year. Games do not get much bigger than this. Shmoilovs and Smedings last one in Klagenfurt in 2015 where they beat Alex Ranieri and the king of the sky ball, Adrian Karambula. It's a total different challenge, a total different team they're playing against here in Sorum and Mole. First blood goes to Samoylovs on Sorum. The set's off the net, the ball's caught underneath Sorum. It is a monster block. He's hiding out the vision of Sorum and popping up very late. toughest games, and it'll be a game similar to this actually, was the game that Latvia came through to make the semi-final against Brown Mewson, one of their toughest games of the week. Brown Mewson playing at home, Sorum does get a side out off the ball there, it's good feet, he works off the body nicely, but that game against Brown Mewson was tough here for Schmedins and Smolov, they side out so well for the second two sets, jump setting, unbelievable from Latvia, they are starting exactly how they left off in the semi-final against Semenov and Leshkigov really trying to tease Mole, trying to make him jump on the second touch and then leave a free net for Samoylovs. This is going to have the makings of an absolute classic. Again, it's a fade away, but Samoylovs reads it so nicely. But also reading, watching the player so well, is Sorum, who then fades onto the line. Sorum served well this morning, and also the way that he works off the body again, when his thumb goes round the ball into his right-hand pocket, it's so smooth. Sloppy, that, from Smedins. But it also does mean that the defending team have to keep an eye on that. Remember, Schmedin setting the ball now, took a bronze medal with Martins Plavins at London 2012. He has played every big game possible. Mole so smooth. Hitting from the right, or from the left, his feet find the ball well. It means that he gets the ball into his hitting window nicely. The hitting window is directly above the right shoulder. It means you can go one way or the other. Plavins going back to that previous subject, now playing with Edgar Stoch this week, and they took a ninth place for Latvia. Now Smedins does go on too. And this is everything that the Latvians are about, and this is why it's going to be so intriguing. The Latvians play a game where they run the two ball wide. So you look, Mole has to commit, and it's very difficult to get a good line when you're drifting in the block. But also, when the jump setting comes out now, it's almost like a bit of a fake play from Schmedings, and then they'll go wide to the pins. They're looking to run Mole all over the place. It's a stand-up set, standard stuff from Norway. Sorum is siding out so nicely. Sorum and Mole, well, both of their brothers play. Alex Sorum actually won the CV under 20s with Anders Mole playing on your screen right now. And Henrik Mole, Anders' brother, playing with Matthias Bernstein in this competition, a product of Hawaii University. See, they're running the same ball again, trying to get the ball in on two and then run Mole around. This time, it's another side out, and it's great work from Smedins and Samoilovs. They're running it so wide that Mole has to buy into that second touch. And then it's so difficult for him to scamper across the net to line up his block. Latvia has started very well. Sorum, we've seen him go to the line. Now we see him just try and nerd a one. And they're passing everything on such a big angle. This is like watching indoor volleyball, really. They're passing to the same position of two, two and a half. And it's to really put Mole under pressure because they know the threat that he brings in the block. There's no two ball, his eyes are working desperately to try and see any tips from Schmedins that he's going to go on to. They've started so well. Stand up play. Some more loss with an absolutely delightful defence. Should be a point for Norway though. Schmedins is blocked. Deflects off of Norway on the way out. Team level. 
Oh, sorry, no touch. My mistake. 6 4. Going straight down the line to Sorum. And to hit that angle when you're brought inside, that's the toughest swing available, really. But Sorum, this is so easy for him because his natural hit is off the body, and that's why he's so good as a left sider. Because even when you do serve him inside, he doesn't really want to come back to the line. He's still got the whole court open to him. That's quick. Too quick to go on to. It's part and parcel of this game from Latvia, really. The ball has to come off slow to give a firm picture to Smedins about where the ball's going. That's come off too quick as a tenth platform of Samoilovs. No two ball available. That's a break at a key time for Norway. Yeah! Saw this from Mould in the semi-final, really. Just trying to hit that float serve so, so hard and so flat to the top of the tape that it just drops into the net. Schmedins, top spin, jump serve. Smooth, 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 smooth from Smedings. And as we spoke about earlier, you've got Evandro who is six foot ten and just throws the ball up and just tries to hit it so hard to serve an ace. Then you've got Smedins whose arm is so quick and so smooth that it works in so many different directions that he can just hit the sideline anywhere or the baseline anywhere on court. And that's why he's so effective smoothness and quickness of his arm. It's not the quickest jump serve you'll see. It's so hard to read. Sorum. Perfect. Slightly wider play, back to the line. Trying to work the block of Mole, trying to make him go outside and then chip over him, but Sorum's the one who reads it. And then there's a wonderful shot. It's just body weight's going through the ball. He's not the highest he's ever been there, Smedins, but it's just accurate, it's smooth, it's fast. And for anyone watching, if you can swing this fast on the ball, and it's almost a jumbo, but Sorum's too narrow. If you're accurate and you hit 70 or 80% to the sideline or the baseline, you will be successful. Smedins now blocking. He's in a different altitude, really, Mole, when he gets going. Possibly a weakness of Samoilovs and Smedins is their block. So, yes, they're high, but they have to go really late. So the hitter can't see what area they're blocking or defending. They start very narrow in their block defense. Short teams have to play that way. They really have to give you something to look at or cause confusion in the hitter's mind. Go really late in their block defense. Try and make you guess. Two points for Latvia. More experienced here, but back sets delicious from Mole. And this is what we're saying about Mole. It's his blocking. He blocks so, so well against Herrera Gavira. Made so many kill blocks, but just like the Dauhausers of this sport, his setting is just remarkable from anywhere on court. This team really compl complement each other well, and Sorum serving so good to the left hand side of Samoilovs. It's quick, it's punchy. The ball's just travelling over the net band by a millimetre or so, and it just gets past Samoilovs, and he's getting a bit itchy in there. It's too quick with the touch all day for Malt. Tomahawk, delightful again from Sorum. The setting from Mole is good, and from what you didn't think was a really good start from Norway, they've taken the lead on the technical timeout. They lead by one at 11-10. This is a competition where Nikolai Lupo have already been they got knocked out really early on. They went out to the Swiss team, Heinrich and Gerson, in the first knockout. It was a surprise 
was the surprise of the competition, really. It's been a good event for Switzerland, Heidrich and Gerson. They took a ninth. Bila Kratoga took a fifth. They also beat Nikolai Lupo in that competition. They're building under Marcus Edgar, but they haven't won the European Championship since 2001 when Marcus Edgar, their coach, won gold in Italy with the legends at Sasha Heyer. Another upset was Doppler Horse from Austria getting knocked out by Yusef Crew, Prince I. It's lots of upsets, but this is an all-star final. Remember, Latvia have won, sorry, made five of the last six finals in this competition, the European Championships. Mo and Sorum took a ninth in Portugal, but then they bounced. A shock to the whole world. Those who follow volleyball closely will know they've been on the radar for a long time. And actually, on this day last year, they won a CV satellite in Slovenia. Seems like the 22nd of July is a very, very good day for this pairing. The chop has been seen early from Sorum, and he's seeing everything as is and as more. Anything that Mole doesn't block, Soren plays defense on it. It's credit to the block again. Because he's such a presence in the air, it's easy to play defense around. That's a face shot to the Lion King. The Lion King cannot get his paws on that one. Short again on some oil. They're trying to run this two ball every opportunity. They pass on such an angle to try and run it. Mole again. He's unstoppable. This is why comparisons of Dauhauser and Alisson are coming the way of Anders Moll. He's low, but then he's high and he's pressing and everything goes back into the center of the court. Samoylov's feeling so much heat now. There's no two ball. They're serving Samoylov straight down the line. Tactical change from Norway and it's working because they're serving some oil offs down the line. So they can't run the two ball as well, and they can't run the wide ball. So they're just boxing some oil offs into that left-hand side of court because of the angle of the servers changed. Well done from Schmedins trying to work that angle as well. Passes strong from Sorum. He can still hit an almighty big angle when he serves straight down the line. That work off the body is fantastic from Sorum. Norwegian's coached by Anders Moll, Henrik Moll's dad. Their mum's actually the manager of the Norwegian squad as well. They have two teams now, as mentioned earlier. Uh, Moll and Bernstein getting knocked out by an informed Belgium team in this competition. 14-12 here. Anders Moll's father, who'll be very proud. Kea Moll and the mother. Marita put their jobs to focus on finding sponsors and finding, sorry, funding the team. And now look where they are, they're doing so well. Tall off the block, too high from Mole. And from a very strong start from Latvia, it's Norway now that have really got some oil ofs under the cosh and under pressure. They're really struggling here. Trying to work the angle, but the two ball isn't really available. Jumbo from the Lion King. There's a little fist clench there from Samoylovs because he knows that side out is crucial. Quick feet, it's a little pat, but it's accurate. It just dips in before the sideline. 5-3, Latvia need a push here. Sorum again served to the inside, hitting from the middle. Christian Sorum then gets chippy over the block. And Something that they might be trying to do here, they're not the biggest in the block here, the Latvians, so they can stay high, chip over the top, and it will cause problems for Smolovs and Smedins, that's for sure. Sorum, great court vision as well. No two ball for a long time from Smedins. So Moilov's really struggling. This is almost like the first set against Brower Mewson here, just two nights ago. The home favorites, the Olympic bronze medalist Brower Mewson, also the world champions from 2015. They got knocked out here on this very court, but that first set from Latvia and some Moilovs, well, he didn't side out that well, and it's happening again. But again, as we've said previously, this team 
are so experienced, they stay calm the whole way through. Two ball is coming now, though. Two ball chip back and a cut shot. And that's a much better pass from Samoilov. It's higher, so Smedins can go and find it and then work it himself. He's falling to the floor, but it doesn't have to be technically perfect. And some people out there will look for technically perfect volleyball, but the game's changed. They're now passing and setting longer distances to try and work the opposition block. And a smaller team like Smolov and Spencer have to do that. Yes. That's high from Anders Moll. They can't score points from Christian Sorum if they serve him. So they have to change to Anders Moll. And they can't score points from Moll either. He's having to reach high in there, Samoilovs, to even get in the same air zone. More two balls. No, it's jump set. It's exactly what we were speaking about. Oh, my word, Anders Moll. No matter what is throwing your way, you are equal to it. And once again, it's a monster block on Samoilovs. It is a jump set, but he doesn't get sucked into the temptation. And somehow he gets out quick enough and gets a finishing position on the net that's just phenomenal. He's a blocking machine. And Sorum is so consistent in his side out. His vision, the way that he's working the ball around, different shots. He's working off the body, he's working through the body nicely as well to the line. Samoilovs and Smedins really haven't got an answer to this. This is such a bigger task than they had in the semi-final against Semenov and Leshikov from Russia. They're playing a team hot in form, and it's Norway at the moment who are looking to become the youngest European champions ever here this evening in The Hague. Smolov's pretty much taking his frustration out on the ball. You can hear him yell as he goes through that one. Too little, too late, potentially. For the Lion King and Schmedins. And for such a young team, Sorum and Moll are so consistent. Even in the semi-final, there are questions asked of them halfway through the set, but they stayed calm and they really did deliver. Anders Moll, feet are quick. He's dynamic for someone of his size. And he really does go through that ball like an absolute train. That brings up set point for Norway. And it's been fairly easy because the block defense has been spectacular. The serve down the line from Moll is good. Once again, there's a block from Anders Moll, and it's exactly what they're working on. They were running the two balls so well, Latvia, early on. So they're both serving down the line to Samoilovs, and it's not allowing Schmedins to get the two ball in. There's just no angle on the pass, really. Second set point for Norway, a four-point game. It's another spectacular jump serve. It's smooth to the sideline. Moll misses out on the party. Two saves from Latvia, surely not. They've been so calm throughout this game, but again, the smoother the arm, the easier it is to direct the ball to the sideline and the baseline. Schmedins can do this all day. He's so smooth and so quick. Third set point. Anders Moll from the right side. Goes on that sharp angle again, but Schmedins does well to sit round. And it's a jumbo from Schmedins that just misses the mark. Norway looking to earn their first European Championship since 1997 are off to a flying start in The Hague. A combined age of just 43 years old, but they are playing like true masters. They're trying to play wide, trying to play quick to work the block of Mole, but to know avail. It's Norway that take the first set here of this gold medal match, 21-17. Let's look at some highlights.
Second set, about to get underway. Every time they've been asked a question, Sora Moore, they've stayed so, so patient. They've been so relaxed in everything they're doing. And it's just a change in the service. Early on, Latvia really did try to run the two ball. But as soon as Norway started peppering some oil offs down the line, you can't really get an early angle on the ball and shape his platform slow and hold his pass into an area where Schmedins can affect the game. Schmedins is really isolated out there at the moment, especially in the side-out phase of the game. Mold is blocking so nicely. Anything he doesn't get, he's managed to be so early in the block at times. It's easy for Sorum to play defense around a blocker like Anders Mold as well. Not saying that Sorum isn't a world-class defender, he certainly is. Schmedins to get things underway. Anders Mold, back yeah. set. So high. He can hit over the top of this team all day more. And this is, they're trying to get him out of system with the pass, but the recovery setting from Sorum is delightful. Accurate. There's a big gap there. Mole will take it. Looking to go wide again. It's really late, but it's a good press from Mole. He forces some more loss on the angle, and Sorum's all over it. A second chance from Sorum from the left side. A wider set for Christian Sorum. Great scoop from the Lion King. This game has just about everything. Mole goes high again. Mole is going over the top of Latvia. Simple as that. He's too high. Sorum again hitting off the body really nicely. Sorry, not over the top. It was a late dive into the angle from Smedins. Some oil loss chasing down the line. Huge from Anders Moll. Yet again, you can see him. He gets lower than the eye line of Samoylov. So he's hiding, he's ducking and diving just here. He's lower, and then he jumps into the angle. So he's not showing anything to Samoylov. Samoylov will not enjoy that whatsoever. And it's more relief from Samoylov's because his side out just hasn't been there so far. It's been too good. From Norway again, Mole diving back in to the angle. Saw on the target, serving him inside, but he still manages to access the angle from that inside position. Not that time, though. It's the first time we haven't seen that. That's exactly what they're trying to do when they serve more centrally. He has to pass straight. It's difficult to get out and get an approach to hit the ball back on the cross court. He's leaning in the air. That means his arm comes through wide of the sideline. His body weight not quite going through the ball. It's a wide play again. Low stuff from Mole. But so much better from Samoylov. He's staying high, he's staying smooth, and he's going to the baseline, and he's connecting. Wider set. Samoylov gets one back on Sorum. It's about time that Latvia made a kill block of their own. Monster block echoes out around again. Exactly the same. Starting low, going late, and then really penetrating with the hands, trying to finish with the hands pointing back into the center of the court. You can see the right hand really trying to dictate the ball back into the center of court. Medins, once again with that left arm whip. Mole yet again sends the ball down with an audacious 
thud, really. And it is a boom as well. He's driving his feet, he's showing the line, and he's whipping the ball back across the foot. It's sign of a good right side player. Showing the line every single time. If you can hit the line, you can hit the angle. Opens up the whole court. And his mole. Trying to be clever there, Samoylovs, and it's very smart. When you're out of system and you set tight, you can't hit steep. It's impossible because it's a blocker's game when the ball's tight. So you can only hit up and try and work the ball off the hands. Does it really nicely. <laughs> this is exactly the same problem as Herrera Guevara had. You put the ball on Sorum, he sides out. You go to Mole, he sides out. You give it back to Sorum, he scores. There's no right answer here. And all Sorum's doing is chipping over the top of Schmedin's every single time. Well, red from Sorum. He has a chance in transition now. And that's even put away. They're relentless, this young Norwegian team. They're running away with everything. Those who follow beach volleyball know that they've been on the outsides of a major breakthrough, but this is well and truly their time. Oh, followed up by an ace. How many times today have we seen Anders Mold serve a flat one straight into the net? And it's what he's trying to do. He's trying to work the ball as close to the top of the net band as possible. Sometimes luck goes his way. Timeout called. Sorry, Mold are cruising here. Take your hands just in front of you. And we go in eight steps to the highest level of our hand, and then we clap. Listen to the song. Bounce, bounce, all the other, let the water. Oh, hold, raise your hands. Oh, hold, oh, hold, oh, hold, and clap. Norway, it looks like they're going to be the first team. The Olympic qualification period starts in September, but Mole and Sorum could be the first team since Scarland and Spinnaker in 2012 to represent Norway at the Olympic Games. They took a ninth in London, and they qualified through one of those stories of the games when Eva Horum, who had a great line over, by the way, and Ethan won a golden set in the Continental Cup against Borsma and Spikers from the Netherlands to send their fellow countrymen to the Olympics and not them, it's a double touch. It is a double touch all day from Schmedens. And that was one of the stories of that 2012 games that Ivo Horan and Ethan went into bat to get another team to the Olympic Games. Also in that Dutch Continental Cup team were former world champions Baron Musen. This is Moylofs and Schmedens knocked out this week. Anyway, double touch from Schmedins. We're back again. It's a five point game. And this is one way stuff. Wide set goes to the line. And that's what they're trying to work. They're passing long distances to what would be petition, sorry, position two indoors or that far right area. And what that's allowing is it's tough for Mole to get his line. And there you go. He's left maybe a foot down that line that Samoylos will take all day long. That's all they're trying to do, Samoylos and Schmedins. Open up angles. They're looking for a double touch here, Latvia. Saying if you call us, you have to call that. Let's have another look. Mole. Don't see too much wrong with that one. Again, his body weight's going through the ball, so it looks like he can hit angle there, Sorum. And his body's going through the ball so nicely. Feet towards the back corner of the opposition on a diagonal, and then he whips it back to the line. Off, desperate for decisions, <laughs> hitting sharper areas, and that's really trying to take that block out the game. He can block angles so well, he can jump in so well, but when you're jumping in like this, it's so difficult to take that sharp angle. He's really looking after the seam and maybe one to the deep corner, but he can't cover everything there. Saw him again. This time goes through the block. There's a net touch somewhere, maybe. No, not given. 
Sorum loves trying to work Schmedins every time he's at the net. He's going over him, high line, now the short line. He knows exactly what he's doing here. Schmedins, the service target this time, he goes wide and he tries to unleash, but there's a net touch. So it's a net touch that will count, even though that was high and wide from Yanis Schmedins. setting off the net more, just like we saw earlier with Herrera Guevara against Semenov, setting off the net to try and make more angles available for the spiker. The closer yeah. it is to the net, the more Mole's having a field day. And Mole is having a field day anyway. Pick that, Latvia, you've got no hope. It's a straight pass, but he's so high, he can hit that angle from anywhere. Sorum's recovery setting again. Bump set, world class. High and wide. <laughs> Again, that's what they're looking to do. Off the head of Anders Moll. Running it wide, trying to tool the block and instead just tools the head. Samoylovs is really struggling out there today. They haven't been able to use the two ball. He's been shut down on multiple occasions from Anders Molt. Well, this is his call in the stadium. This is his song. Whether it can amp some oil offs back up and get him out of this rut, we'll have to see. Calm. Just a team playing well and truly beyond their years. As mentioned earlier, a combined age of 43 years old. They were the youngest team to ever win on the FIVB World Tour last week, and they only chose a major series in Stad, one of the biggest events you can play in on the World Tour. It's been a big, big couple of weeks for Soren Mo, and this could be the icing on the cake. They are looking like the favourites here. They're 13-8 up, playing for gold. And it's late from Andy Mole. And Mole against Samoylovs. There is only one winner, and Samoylovs is throwing an absolute tantrum now. It's tight. Mole wins every time. That's why he's frustrated. He can't get round the block. Six-point game. Samoylovs getting bullied again, this time from the left side. Mole! Somebody put this man out, he is on fire. He sees the frustration in Samoylovs. He's charging through this one. He's only ever going to hit it hard. So he presses into the face of his opposite number and rains down even more pain on Alexander Samoylovs. Can he side out this time or is it another block? No, it's off the hands of Anders Moll. But again, this performance from Moll, Dauhauser-esque. Alisson S. His timing, his vision, the way that he moves across the net, the way that he stays low, but his finishing position is still so aggressive, is world class. And his mole again, so high, goes through the hands of Samoylovs. This is one way traffic at the net, and his mole is running the show. Latvia, well, they haven't got long left high and through the block. Five points, the first European Championships. In over 20 years, Smolov does finally find sand. 
this will well and truly be a proud, proud day for Norway. They produce lots of world-class teams, but never to this level. likes of Scarland and Spinnegger. Boy, Darlin. Still spoken about this current day of how good he was. The vision once again from Sorum over the top of Schmedens. How many times is he just going to chip and chop away over Janusz Schmedens? All day is the answer. Two ball from Schmedens right into the path of Anders Moll. It's too, too simple. For Mole and Sorum, he sees it early. He's not watching the ball, he's watching Schmedins. He sees the body language, he's running towards it. He changes his direction, he gets in the face of the spiker, and they're one point closer. By God, Hoy Darling. Jure, Kimperud in 1997, the last team from Norway to win a gold medal at the CEV European Championships. Three more will do it for this team, and it's been easy. Schmedis, a world-class player, but at the moment he's not even getting a look in. He hasn't really come to the party in this one. Sorum's going chasing, he's going to play it anyway. Why not? He's probably going to put the ball on the floor as well. He's on that good of form, and he does. Sorum and Moll are on cruise control here. Norwegian cars, not famous. Not ones you put on cruise control anyway, but their volleyball teams, unbelievable. Saw him again, two more to take this gold medal. It's not been Latvia's day. But there is a side out from Samoilovs. Remember, they've made five out of the last six finals in the CEV European Championships and only won one. It looks like they will be bridesmaids again. Only the brides once in the European champs. Samoilovs will grip it and rip it again. But Sorum's platform is great. Side out play is unbelievable. Don't know whether you at home can remember Sorum even missing a side out. Anyway. The young team have match point now, championship point with this from Sorum banging the line yet again. The first championship point they won in Stad last week on the FIVB Major Series. Here's their chance, it's off the head. Big face shot from Samoilovs and it's almost ended up in the sea. Smoilov's just unloads on that one. 21 year old will recover quickly if they win the whole championship though. Anders Moll siding out. Second match point and they've taken it. Norway are the European Championship winners. Gold medalists for the first time since 1997. They join Vegard Hoydalen and Jorge Kajimparod in being victorious at this competition. Anders Moll and Christian Sorum take a bow. You are now the youngest ever European Championship winners after becoming the youngest winners on the FIVB World Tour last week. It's been just the week to remember for this team. Unfortunately, for Schmedins and Samoilovs, it's heartbreak again. Five finals from the last six, but four silvers and only one gold. Anders Moll, 21 years old. Christian Sorum, 22 years old. The last time they won this competition, they were just toddlers. And now it's their chance and their turn to lift the European Championship trophy. It's a proud day for Sorum and Moll and their volleyballing families. They're joined by Spikey, the mascot, who looks almost as happy as the two athletes from Norway. Heartbreak 
The Schmeders and Smolovs, they played so, so well. But the serving strategy from Norway was too hot to handle. So Moilovs didn't have his finest game, but he was served straight down the line. He struggled at times when passing too, too straight. As we go down courtside to hear from our winners. Uh, maybe the first one for the audience. What about it? I just have to say thank you so much to everyone here in the audience. You guys have been amazing. Here in the Hague, in Apple Lord, where we played uh, two days ago. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. And also, a question for you, of course. Sirem, what did you do the last weeks together? You talked about uh, maybe somewhere a semi-final. You took two championships in a row. Yeah, it's, uh, the two last weeks have been really amazing for us. We have uh, played really good volleyball, and uh, in the final against Latvia, we knew them very well. They're a really good team, so we had to play our best to beat them, and uh, we had a really good game. So, thank you. And on the last word, I told the audience that your father is Dutch, so I think you're, you have to talk a few words in Dutch in the last words to the audience here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just can a few words. Uh, ik heet Anders. Uh, ik ben, uh, what is 21? In, uh, 21. 21 jaar oud. Uh, <laughs> dankjewel. Another time, ladies and gentlemen, European champion 2018, Norway. Just let that one sink in. They're young. They are world. Class. Anders Moles, Dutch, almost, but not quite as strong as his volleyballing play. They're already in the history books as we yeah, hear then, Of course, guys, up. another Gracie final. You beat the Dutch and then come in and then you made it to the semis. But this game, how about they played a hell of a game. Yeah, they, uh, they had perfect side out and uh, played really good in the defense. And uh, yeah, we couldn't uh, do anything against them today. They were just stronger. But I want to uh, say thank you to all the fans who came and uh, supported us all this week. We really enjoyed it. Thank you. Yanis, just last question to you. It's the second time on a row in the, sem in the final. So the next time you win it, 2019. We will see because it's like we are from six years, five times in the final. We are not winning. We are <laughs> staying second all the time. I don't know. It's, it was a hard week for us, and um, we tried to do our best. And but uh, yeah, something is <laughs> something is missing. Yeah, in our last match. But but still, I'm I'm very I'm very glad about what we did till till the final. And let's keep working. Just one tip: hug each other more. That we will be the champion. Thank you. Dames en heren, de runner op de zilvermedaille voor nieuwe winnen dan Levlocks. Classy in defeat. Schmedins en Samoilovs, as always. They're right, there's something just missing. But what a game. We're going to have a look at some highlights from a memorable final here in The Hague. The Let your sun shine through Kings and queens of the beach Champions winning we competition here in the Netherlands. There are three parts to the competition. There's a phenomenal format. Three different events. The Hague, home to the CV European Championships for Beach Volleyball, the World Power Volley Championships, and the CV Under-20 Indoor Competition. All three competitions 
having their finals this weekend. And this was one to remember here on the beach. We're two miles in from the coast here in The Hague, and it's certainly a day that Norway will not forget. They've turned up and they have beaten again world-class teams to win gold here. The youngest team to ever win gold at a European Championships. Let that sink in. What were you doing at 21 years old? Because these guys have just won a European Championships. The volunteers, the referees make their way out to the centre stage yet again. But for the final time of this competition, the beach volleyball, European champs. Well, the pool stages were held in The Hague, Rotterdam, Utrecht and Appledorn. They've all also held knockout games, but the final four was held here in the 3,000-seater stadium in The Hague. And boy, oh boy, did we see some scenes. Herrera, Guevara lost again to Storm and Mole in the semi-final, as they did in the final last week in the major series in Stard but they bounced back in dramatic fashion to beat Russia for bronze. Disappointment for Semenov, Nashikov from Russia. They were very, very close, but not close enough to medal this week. As we meet our special guests for the presentation. And in the centre of your picture, Brian Dorn Umador, a legend of the game here in Holland. Mr. Atis Sautnikic, President of the Latvian Volleyball Federation. Mr. Maris Pekalis, CV Vice President. And last but not least, three-time winner of the European Championship, our tournament director, Rainer Nemedor. Three-time European champion. And once a runner-up here in The Hague in the World Championships in 2015 in one of the most memorable matches in beach volleyball in history. Himself and Christian Varenhorst just missed out on gold. But Numidor is the gift that keeps on giving and now he's working to make the sport better in his country. Time reaching 8.30 local time. Carrera. Kavira taking bronze today. Silver. We'll go to Latvia and gold to Norway for the first time since 1997. And now we know who's on the High fives all round. Latvia lead the athletes out, the silver medalists. And in the middle, what a moment for Christian Sorum and Anders Moll making their way to the top of the podium. Combined age of 43 years old. And on the left of them, Herrera Gavira, a combined age of 66 years old. 
There will be so much respect between these teams. But there's a new powerhouse in this sport, and it's the team in red on the center of your screen. CEV De La Beach Volleyball European Championship. Mag een duidelijk applaus voor het team van Spanje. Herrera, Gavira. Herrera, Gavira take bronze here. They took bronze in 2009. That was their first season together. Since then, they've taken a gold in 2013 in Klagenfurt in Austria. It just wasn't to be their day today. They lost to the eventual winners. But they have been at the forefront of this sport for a long, long time, and their longevity is to be well and truly admired. It's another medal for Herrera Gavira. Played over. 120 tournaments together now in a nine-year relationship that's longer than most marriages. Check for 10,000 euros and some lovely flowers to go with it. Herrera, 36, Gravira, 30 years old. There's still lots of life left in both of them, though. Samoylovs and Smedins take silver here. They've made five of the last six finals. And unfortunately, they have lost four of them. Four silvers and one gold. Their one gold medal came in Klagenfurt in 2015, where they beat Adrian Karambula and Alex Ranieri in that final. But since then, it's been hard work for the fans' favourites from Latvia. Still, they can force some smiles. They're a dominant force in this game, and they will be back, that's for sure. Gold medalist and fresh European champion of 2018, Team Norway, Anders Moll and Christian Sorum. Anders Moll and Christian Sorum take the gold and they are the new European champions. The first gold medal for Norway since 1997 when they got a gold and silver in that event. Begard Hoydalen and Jure Andre Kemperud took gold that day when these athletes were still just toddlers. Anders Moll and Christian Sorum, they won last week in the Stad Major Series on the World Tour. They were the youngest team to ever win an FIVB World Tour event, and now they're the youngest team to ever win a European Championships held by the CEV. What a team, and they still have so much time on their hands to improve and to get much, much better. And there's Mole on the left of your screen, or on the left of the Norwegian pairing, 21 years old, has been phenomenal, his blocking, his setting, but Sorum, the way that he sided out and served and played defense has been phenomenal all week again. There's going to be parties in Norway for a long time to come. Anders Moll and Christian Sorum look to their families in the crowd as they lift the CV European Championships here in The Hague. What a day for Norway. A week to remember. They've gone from taking a ninth in Portugal to two wins in a row. This will take some time to sink in. The national anthem. The national anthem for the European champions on the big screen of Norway. As we stand for the European 
champion Soren Molt, their national anthem of Norway. Fantastic scenes. Norway win their first European Championships for 21 years. Thank you, John. What a great week we've had here. It was amazing. Yesterday we had uh, an exciting final for the women already. And also today we have seen some amazing volleyball skills. During this week, I received uh, a lot of compliments about the venues and I will share this with the organizers, TIG Sports, and the Dutch Volleyball Federation. I want to thank the CUV for giving us the opportunity and trust to organize this event. And also, I would like to thank the four cities, Apeldoorn, Utrecht, Rotterdam, and The Hague, and The Hague for hosting this European Championship. Also, a big thanks to all our sponsors. Dela, Rabobank, T-Mobile, and Sony for their support. <laughs> of course, this event would also not be possible without the help of all the volunteers and officials. Thank you so much. And last but not least, of course, all of you who came out this week for all your support and your cheering for the teams. Thank you so much. And now, Randy Numidor has the respect of absolutely everyone involved in beach volleyball. This 2018 CV Dela Beach Volleyball European Championship. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like also to express thanks to the Netherlands and its four cities, Apeldoorn, Utrecht, uh, Rotterdam and Hague, for organizing of such, such amazing event. Many thanks to organizers, to all members of organizing committee. Special thanks to volunteers who did a great job. Really great job, thanks. And again, and again, thanks to the players for delivering this outstanding performance. It was really, really fantastic. And again, special thanks to the audience, to the spectators. They were great. And at this point, allow me to declare that 2018 CEV Dela Beach Volleyball European Championship is officially closed. Oh. But I am very happy to announce that the next European Championship will, be, will take place in Moscow, in Russia, in 2019, month of August. Welcome to Russia, to next European edition. Thank you. So, next year in Russia, we go again. There's another one. But will Sorum and Mole keep dictating proceedings here? They've been so good. 
And now we will leave you with scenes of celebration from what has just been a fantastic tournament to broadcast to you from. It's been an absolute delight. And Norway will be partying for a long, long time. It's their first gold medal at European Championship since 1997. But from myself, Louis Lett, and the rest of our team, it's been an absolute pleasure. And we hope to see you again soon. We leave you with some glorious scenes here in The Hague.